Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Carabs University, and today we have what is my favorite roulette system. Uh, one of my subscribers asked uh, which one I use when I'm in the casino, and this is number one. This is the Fibonacci Dozen, and uh, I like the Fibonacci betting system uh, when you're betting uh, dozens or columns, which is what we're going to be betting today. Uh, anytime you have a score hit, you are at a new session high and you start the process over again. So uh, this requires a $400 buy-in. We'll be betting uh, uh, units and these will be $1 units today. And this will help us keep it simple and easy to understand uh, the betting units. But this does scale up easily if you want to bet $3 units, $5 units, $10 units. However much you want to, this will, uh, will work for you. So uh, let's head on down to the virtual roulette table and we'll explain the nuts and bolts of it and then we'll spin the little ball around for a few minutes and show you how it works and then uh, see what you think. So we'll head down there now and we'll see you on the field here shortly. All right, everyone, down here on the virtual roulette table and we're going to roll out the Fibonacci Dozen system. Now this is the one that I use. Uh, this is my number one system. I like it real well. Um, and so we're going to roll it out here and show you how it works and maybe you'll incorporate it into your game also. Now we're going to start off with a $400 buy-in. Uh, we'll be betting uh, one unit and these will be $1 units just so we can keep the betting systems uh, simple and easy to understand. So we'll put one unit on one of the dozens, say the first dozen, and that would be a dollar unit in this case. Uh, we bet, and then if we lose, we start using our Fibonacci betting system, which uh, I'll put up on the screen right now. Now you'll notice going from left to right, uh, the first bet's a dollar, the second bet's a dollar, or our unit, and then we add those two together for our third bet, and that would be two units and then we just add the previous two bets together for the next bet. So uh, at the two unit level, if we lost there, we would bet, uh, we would add the one and the two together. So the next bet would be three units. And if we lost that one, the next bet would be two plus three, the previous two bets. And that would get us up to five units. And then we just keep moving right, eight, 13, 21. Now the thing I like about the Fibonacci in this uh, particular betting system when you're betting dozens or columns, um, which is 12 of the numbers, you get paid two to one. So if you hit either one, any of these numbers on your way up the uh, Fibonacci ladder, uh, you're at your session high and you start over at the one unit bet again. So uh, to bust out on this, you have to lose 12 straight. Uh, it's pretty hard to do. It's not impossible because uh, you are an underdog on each and every spin. So that's how it works. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Now I like to look at the previous three, um, three or four rolls, spins, and see which dozen I want to bet on to start. Uh, the, the last roll, of course, is 28 black, which is the third 12. And the one before that is five red, which is the first 12. So it's been the second 12, the one that's been the longest since it's been hit. So it's already missed the last two times. So let's go ahead and put one unit for one dollar on the second 12 and then we'll spin and get started. We're starting at uh, one million one hundred twenty six thousand seven hundred dollars and we do lose that first bet. So uh, we're look, looking at the Fibonacci betting system. Uh, the last two previous bets are zero and one. So we'll stay at the one unit bet on the same 12 and we'll spin again. And if we hit uh, if we hit a number here, which we did, well, no, we missed again. That's the first twelve. Uh, if we hit a number uh, on our next bet, which will be two, the previous two bets are one and one, so the next bet will be two units. If we hit the, this two unit bet, well, then we'll be at our session high, and we'll start over at the one unit bet once again. So there's fifteen black. That is a winner, and as you can see, we're up uh, two units at. Uh, uh, 702 up in the top right hand corner of the screen. So we'll take this down and once again we'll look at the previous three numbers. We had of course the middle 12, second 12, and uh, with 15 black and the one before that was 11 black which is the first 12. 
So we're going to bet one unit on the third 12 this time. And what I normally do, I'll bet three three times on the 12s, and then I'll move to the columns and bet three. If you're on a electronic machine, um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me. It seems like uh, sometimes they you know, get knowledge of how you're betting your, your patterns, and maybe the ball doesn't land where it normally would. So this way, this mixes it up, and it's probably uh, doesn't really matter, but that's just the way I do it. So we did have a hit on the third 12 there. So uh, we're up to uh, 704 now, up four units. So we'll take that bet down. And now we look at our bets again. We had 28 black, which was third 12, 15 black, which was second 12. So we'll bet this one on the first 12. And then after this bet, we'll move to our column bets. So there's 28 black, so we do lose that one. So our previous two bets were 0 and 1. So we'll stay at the 1 unit level and spend for our second time. Okay, there's 13 black, so that's another loss. So our previous two bets now were 1 and 1. So this bet will be 2 units because 1 plus 1 is 2. And there's 35 black, so that's another loss. So our previous two bets now were one and then two. So this bet will be three. And again, if we hit any of these bets, we'll be at our session high and we can start over again. And there's 31 black, so there's another loss. So the next bet will be two plus three will be five. So we're up to five now. And see if we can hit a number here. 16 red, so no, that's another loss. So our previous two bets were three and five, so this one will be eight. And you can see the total bet at the top of the screen there. And we're spinning. And we're looking for something uh, between one and 12. 24, so we do lose that one once again. And the last two bets were five and eight, so the next bet will be 13. And we're certainly on a bit of a cold streak here. But we're due, and there it is. There's the eight black. So that takes us up to another uh, session high. So we're plus 10 units, so we'll um, take that bet down. And now we're gonna move to column bets. We've had three of our uh, dozen bets, now we're gonna move to the column. And once again, we'll look at the previous numbers. Uh, we had eight black, which was second column, and 24 black, which was third column. So we'll bet this one on the first column for one unit as we start over in our Fibonacci betting system. So there's 25 red, so that's a winner on the first, first try. So we'll take that down. And let's see, we had first column, and then we had second column, so we'll bet on the third column this time. That's the longest since it's hit. So it's already got two misses when we start. So it's already due, let's see if it'll hit. Here's eight black, we do miss that one. Uh, the previous two bets are zero and one, since that was our first bet at this, uh, on this column. So we'll stay at one for this uh, spin. And there's 10 black, so we do lose again. And the previous two bets were one and one, so we'll increase our bet up to two on this one. And we are spinning, looking for third column. It's 25 red, so we missed that one, that's first column. So the previous two bets are one and two, so this bet will be three as one plus two equals three. And looking for third column, something divisible by three. Five is not divisible by three. So that's second column. Um, so the previous two bets were two and three, so this bet will be five. And you can see the total bet up again at the top of the screen. And we're spinning, here we go. And there's four black, so that's another miss. So the next bet will be uh, three plus five, which is eight. 
So this bed is up to eight now. And round and round she goes. And there's six black, so we do get a win there. And that takes us up to a new session high at uh, 716. So we'll take that down. And our uh, last three spins were third column, first column, second column. So second column is the longest since we've hit it. So we'll start over with a one unit bet on the second column. And so this is the third bet on column. So after this one, we'll move back to our dozen bets. And again, this is just something I do. It's not, not necessary if you don't want to do it. So we do lose that one. So our last two bets are zero and one. So we'll stay at the one unit bet and spin again. So there's 33 black. So that's another miss. So our previous two bets are one and one. So this one will be for two. And there's 34 red, so that's another miss. And our previous bets were one and two. So this bet will be for three. And there's the eight black, so we do hit that one. So now we'll go back to our column, our uh, 12 bets. And we'll look at the previous three numbers, uh, eight, which is first 12, 34, which is third 12, so we will go with the second 12 and as we look at the previous six numbers it is not hit in the last six spins so it is overdue to hit here already so we should hit one here shortly i would think there's 33 black that's not it so we'll stay at the one unit level our last two bets are zero and one so one unit bet once again and there's double zero. Obviously, that's a loss. So our last two bets now are one and one. So this bet will be two. Let's see if we can hit a number here. There's 35 black, so we missed that one. Previous two bets are one and two, so this bet will be for three units. And we're spinning. All right, there's 19 red, so that is a, a score hit. We do win, and that puts us up to another session high. So we'll take that down, and we'll look at our numbers. We had a second 12. Previous one before that was a third 12. So let's bet the first 12. Looks like it's been uh, four straight misses on the first 12. So it should hit here shortly. We are due to hit somewhere between a 1 and 12. There's a 36 or a 30 red, so that's a loss. We'll stay at the one unit level. The previous two bets are zero and one. There's 35 black, so that's another loss. So we'll increase to two units as our previous bets are one and one. And we are spinning. Here we go. And there's 18 red, so that's another loss. So it's um, been a while since that first 12's hit. So our previous two bets are one and two, so this one will be for three. And 28 blacks, another miss. So previous two bets are two and three, so this one will be for five. As we move up and down the Fibonacci dozen. 27 red, another loss. Wow, so the previous two bets are three and five, so this one will be eight. You can see the total bet again at the top of the screen. So eight unit bet here, and looking for a small number. 31 black is not it, so five and eight were the previous two bets. So this one will be 13, and we are spinning. Sixteen red, so that's another miss. So the previous two bets were eight and thirteen. So this one will be for twenty-one. And looking for a little number. It's been a while since we've had a first twelve. And there's that twenty-seven red again. So the last two bets are thirteen and twenty-one. 
So this one will be 34. And we're spinning again. Thirty-one black, so that's another miss. So the previous two bets were twenty-one and thirty-four. So the next bet will be fifty-five. And here we go. This is just one of those weird uh, times where something's just not hitting, not hitting, not hitting. So once again we lose. So the previous two bets were thirty-four and fifty-five. So this one will be up to eighty-nine. Get that bit up. And we are spinning. And there's what we're looking for. There's the nine red first 12. And that's a big hit. And that takes us up to 755. So we'll clear that out and we'll start over. So let's look for another uh, 12 bet. That was first 12. And the previous one was previous three. Looks like we're all third 12. So let's go second 12. And we're starting over. So this will be for one unit. And that's a zero. So that's a loss. And the previous two bets are zero and one. So we'll stay at the one unit level. And 36 red is a miss, so the previous two bets are one and one. So this one will be for two. Thirty-three blacks, another loss. So we'll go up from uh, two to three. The previous two bets are one and two. This bet will be three. And 15 black is the number, so that is a winner. So that takes us up to 1,126,757 dollars. So I think we're going to call that a video, and we won 57 units there, which in this case is just one dollar units for a 57 dollar win. Uh, if you're betting 10 dollar units, it'd be 570 dollar win. So. But anyway, that is how the Fibonacci dozen works. And we did uh, go pretty far up the ladder that one time on that first 12, but we did finally, uh, finally hit our number. And once we did, that brought us right back to the session high. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you, uh, uh, I explained it well enough for you to understand exactly how the Fibonacci dozen works. And uh, try this on your software, see what you think. And maybe you, like I, will uh, like to take it to the casinos next time you make a trip. So this is Professor Profit coming to you from Craps University. And we hope you enjoyed this special roulette video. And if you did, please give us the old thumbs up. We would appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Craps University channel, we would love having you part of the student body here. So please do so at this time. We will be back Sunday with our next uh, craps video, and then our next roulette video will be next Wednesday, where we'll bring you another uh, winning roulette system. So, Professor Profit coming to you from Craps University. Once again, thank you for watching. If you're out there spinning that ball this week, we hope all your numbers come up winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.